create RDLC report in Aspirator C Sharp with SQL. Okay, start Visual Studio. Click on File Menu, New, Website, and Visual C Sharp. Select SP.NET Web Form Site. Browse the directory where I create this web application. Select RDLC Tutorial Folder. Click on Open. Yes, this is the RDLC Report Tutorial. Select so backslash and name the web application. Create RDLC underscore web tutorial. Yes, the web application is created. These are the default tag and text value attributes. I'm just removing all the text and I designed newly to load data from SQL Server database to RDLC report and finally I'll display the report in SP.NET website. So it is highly equal to fading, fading is 15 pixel. Yes, let's check. Yes, fading is added. Now go to the chores and add another deep control in this first deep in this deep tag uh, this deep tag I will use uh, as title of this web page so user info report style is font size font size large 30 pixel ok and align center ok now let's see design yes now this is looking nice now add another div yes in this div tag i will add a button control from the toolbox just drag the button control yes go to the design resize and design this button control the text of this button control is load report i will use this button control to load rdlc report in sp.net web page font bold row font size is large okay now for color yes this is for color now add back color back color yes okay now this is looking nice now i'm gonna add a rdlc report viewer microsoft report viewer so go to the reporting expand the reporting and just drag the report viewer and drop it in sp.net web page resize the report viewer yes now this deep uh, tag go to the source and uh, make it align equal to center okay design yes now this is looking nice this is report viewer 1 report viewer id is report viewer 1 go to the button click event and in this button click event i will write code to load rdlc report in this report viewer okay so this, uh, now i'll check the sql server data so this is server name login essay password is sql server authentication password connect yes it's connected and database database name is programming db and table x the table table name is user info underscore tab let's check the records these are the records user id the name addresses x and date of birth the records in the database table okay now create a new rdlc report right click click on add new item select a report yes this is the report name the rdlc report name i just named it with uh, user info report click on add yes it's added now go to the report data <coughs> if you don't have report data go to the view menu and just click on report data or press ctrl alt d okay data set i don't have any data set so first of all i'm gonna create a data set new data set so go to the solution explorer right click on the solution project and click on add new item select data set 
yes dataset.xsd i just named it dataset one dot xsd click on yes yes the dataset is created yes okay now in the server explorer add sql connection server name authentication username and sql server password database name programming db click on ok yes it's connected expand the table just to drag the user info tab and drop it in the dataset one dot xsd file yes user info underscore tab this is data table and table adapter you can key for you can remove table adapter okay now save and go to the rip rdlc report and now select new dataset yes the dataset name and data source is dataset1 and available dataset dataset is user info underscore tab okay it's added now design the report with the dataset this is face header i just added uh, the face header and footer you can add or you can ignore this face header and footer now i'm just adding a header to add header add text box header is user info report okay resize this text box make it align with center and font size font size is 16 feet okay pretty and font family Arial round empty bold okay now this is looking nice now I'm gonna add a table to load all the records from SQL Server database to RDLC report it will uh, load from dataset so user ID user name address add new column to the right two, two more column yes address age then sex date of birth okay it's added now design the header of this table this is back color and change the font weight font weight is bold and color I mean four color four color is uh, four color yes four color is white okay it's done now I'm gonna add a footer right click insert text box text box in footer write some text in the ta in the footer text box okay text is a report developed by programming geek select and make it with italic and uh, on bold to ok it's done now save and go to the cs file first of all i'm gonna connect uh, connect with sql so to connect with sql first of all add sql connection con equal to new sql connection okay now for double quotation and in this double quotation you should put the connection string add namespace using system.data.sql client yes to use sql connection you should add namespace okay this is the table user info underscore tab and the other column now to get connection string right click on the database click on property and select the connection string copy and paste it in the double quotation okay user id is sa password uh, there is a error to solve this error add at the rate before connection string okay now sql command sql command c equal to new sql command my sql command is to select record all the records from sql server database table to rdlc report okay user info underscore tab is the table name and initializing connection string con con is sql connection okay now sql data adapter sql data adapter s equal to new sql data adapter c c is sql command okay now data table data table 
data table dt equal to new data table to use data table you should add new spaces in system dot data just start using system dot click on using system dot data okay it's done now fill the s I mean sql data adapter to dt s dot fill dt this portion i just used to load uh, data from sql server database to uh, data table now i'm gonna fill this dt to rdlc report i'm gonna load this dt to rdlc report okay it would be on dot local report dot clear clear initially uh, data service dot clear i just clear this uh, report viewer initially then report data source report data source rds equal to new report data source data source is data set one my data set data set one and dt okay now add name space using microsoft reporting dot web form it's done now report viewer one dot local report dot report path report path is server dot map path copy the report name rdlc report name and paste it in the map path okay my report name is user info report dot rdlc copy copy this name and paste with the double quotation yes it's done now report viewer one dot local report dot data source dot add rds rds is report data source okay finally report viewer one dot local report dot refresh okay it's done now save and go to the default dot aspx right click on the page and click on view in browser load or oh, login failed for user si this is uh, check sql server connection string connection string is ok user id sa password password you should put sql server password ok now right click and view in browser yes it's loading load report yes the report is loaded successfully you can see the id is the name address is sex and date of birth is also displaying all the records in the table are in rdlc report okay now i'm gonna adding higher in sql command so higher is greater than 25 it will display that those records whose uh, age is 25 greater than 25 yes you can see age 29 30 26 okay if uh, you your clause is in age greater than 27 then it will display only those records whose uh, age is greater than 27 okay now i'm gonna add a text box to uh, to load data based on the address dynamically okay this uh, put address i will put uh, address in this text box and the records will display based on address what address i will put in this text box okay now and just declaring a variable listing address equal to text one dot text and then where address equal to put single quotation then double quotation then plus sign then variable address okay it's done now save and reload this page yes put manchester load report yes you can see the danny and cat winslet in manchester if you put london there is only one person john in london and then oxford christina in oxford okay thanks for watching this tutorial mm -hmm.